How you guys doing? It's Mike with Iron Horse Overland. I am uh, out here in Wyoming and oh so beautiful look at that but uh, today I'm gonna be installing the uh, heart mounts for my Pelican BX 55 S boxes um, before I had them mounted up there with cam straps they, they didn't move or anything but being what we keep in them spare parts uh, recovery gear stuff like that I mean you just take a knife and cut those straps and you're gonna have fun getting them down because they're heavy but um, easy to take so we're gonna be I'm gonna be installing those I have a front runner rack so it's made it a little interesting but I'll show you what I did uh, to make them work or I'm what I'm gonna do to make them work anyways let me uh, give you a sh show you what uh, we're running up top and then uh, we will uh, go into what came in the box and the whole shooting match. So there's our BX55 boxes, got one on either side. And uh, we will go over and I'll show you what I got. So you get uh, your mounts, one set of mounts per box comes in a cardboard box and it's going to be part number RFMT-002 BLK if they're black. Um, comes very well secured in the box. I got two sets because I have two boxes. So all your hardware comes in this uh, little airtight wrapper with that's been car compartmentalized for each thing. Then you get another one that comes with the latching sections. And then you get the pieces that actually attach to your, your rack. Again, mine were for the... Uh, my rack is a front runner uh, slimline two full size rack problem. So here is my other side. So the problem that you run into with these is, as everyone well knows, front runner uses an M8 bolt to attach things. To their racks well the problem with that is m8 bolt won't fit through these slides so i'm gonna have to drill these out and i've already set them up to where they're gonna be in the uh on the rack and i'll drill them out to fit these m8 bolts and then they'll fit in there nicely and then bolt down um the other thing like everything and it's not just pelican it's a variety of different companies they do not uh they do not put uh instructions in the bag or in the box so to find the instructions you've got to um type in your your search engine Pelican uh, Pelican case mounts, and then it'll come up with these, and then you uh, can down you can download the uh, the actual uh, instructions how to put this thing together. I mean, you can figure it out, but it is kind of a pain because all this stuff just looks. And you know, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but you know, I can figure it out. But anyways, that's what you get in the box. It's very well packaged. I would like to see, you know, a one page instructional thing stuffed in the box with it. That would make it easier. And uh, I don't like the fact that I got to drill this to make it work, but whatever. That's what we're going to do next. And as you see, I've already marked them um, inboard uh, front 
and then where the drill is going to where I'm going to drill the mount inboard rear and where I'm going to drill the mount just to make it work on my rack and uh, as we go along we will uh, videotape as we're going along and that way everybody can see it looks like it's a pretty simple install so uh, we'll be back to you so here's what we got going on we got the mount in our max device uh, hitch vice which is awesome works great um, and I'm gonna drill it out to uh, 5 sixteenths and that should be enough to get the M8 bolt through it and it just takes a few minutes so that's what we are got going and I'll drill all four of the mounts out I don't have enough bolts to do the second box I got to go to the hardware store and get some more M8 bolts but uh, you'll get to see the mounting of this thing uh, all at, you know at least on one case so anyways We'll get there and uh, we'll get back to you. Well, next is uh, we're gonna have to file this out to make this M8 bolt fit because the drill won't work. So nice round file, and all we're going to do is file this back. Unfortunately, that means I got to do this on four of them. Because, yeah, this will work. Thank God for Thank God for files. Are you recording? Yes. Thank goodness for this vice too, because when you're out here and you don't have a garage to go back to to get to your bench vice, it really helps to have a vice. I don't like the fact that I'm going to have to do this on four of them, but there we go. Good to go. All right, so you're going to have to do that on four of them or however many you need. But it is what it is. The drills um, would just get inside and stop. So, yep. Uh, little hand files work. All right. So, here's what we were using before to lock down our Pelican BX55S cases. And now we're using the Pelican, new Pelican mounting system. It's a pretty cool system. Um, I wish they would have put instructions in the case or in the box, like I said, 
But so what happens here is this mount here bolts to your rack. And again, if you're using a front runner rack, you have to, you have to hone out the uh, mounts to make them fit the M8 bolts. It took me like five minutes, you know, five minutes or so, two or three minutes to do each, each uh, mount. There's one on each side. There's one on this side, one on that, the, the far side, one right here, and then one over here. Anyways, these, this mounts to the rack itself. There's a bracket right here that mounts to the, here. Then there's another bracket that bolts to the box and they're held together with this pull pin, but also you can put a lock here, which I like because let's face it, if somebody really wanted this, you know, if they were determined enough, they would probably get it. But locks just merely keep honest people honest. Most thieves come to something and if there's a lot of effort involved, they're just gonna go to the something else with, that doesn't require any, any effort. So what you do if you wanna take the box down is you pull this pin here and this pin here. And then what you do is you rock the box over out of the back mounts and pull it out. Good luck with this box, really heavy. All right, I'm gonna go to the other side and let you see those, uh, the mounts on the other side because they're a little different. But so far, I'm liking them. It's very solid up here. So I don't think, you know, any rugged trails or anything like that are gonna have a lot of impact on these. But I'll let you know in the future. All right, we'll go to the other side. So here we go. This is the inboard side. And again, here's your, your mounts that mount to the rack via M8 bolts. Um, these are red Loctited, so if somebody's gonna try to get them, they're gonna have to fight with them. And then what happens is, is this hook bolts into the main mount, and each of those bolts are also red Loctited, plus they're a nylock, so again, it's gonna take somebody a while to get that off. Um, not foolproof. And then here again, it is, uh, bolted to the rack and then hooked into the box. So you unlatch the other side of the box and then you rotate the box this way, releasing these hooks right here. And then you pull them out. I've had these BX55 cases for, I don't know, uh, almost a year and they've been awesome. They haven't leaked. They haven't allowed any moisture in. Um, this is all my spare parts. And then the box here that I'm sitting on has all my recovery gear in it. Um, makes every, you know, everything uh, obtainable out on, out on the road. And then everything is also locked. Because again, locks will stop the average person from becoming a thief. So yeah, and then we have our weather station here and everything's bolted down and locked and then our Starlink. Um, yeah, everything is uh, secure and as it can be, our 100 watt uh, Renogy solar panel. Again, everything's Loctited, so if they wanna try to get it off, they're gonna be fighting it. But anyways, I hope, uh, you enjoyed this uh, video. They're pretty simple to put in. It takes uh, from one box, you know, not counting the time, you know, half hour, you could have these in um, if you're handy, you know, an hour if you take your time. So yeah, anyways, I hope everybody's having a good day and we'll talk to you later. Bye.